Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GP TV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's New Comic Book Day. Digital, physical, there's comics all over the place. You should be really excited because, you know, it's New Comic Book Day. So DC Comics has hooked us up with three trade paperbacks to talk about that are all out on the shelves this week. Two from DC, one from Vertigo. Keep in mind that DC sent us these, so uh, you can use that to make, uh, make your decision of how full of crap I am as to whether or not I like these, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, let's, go, let's go with the Vertigo one first. So, it's Ever After, the page, from the Pages of Fables. It's basically the follow-up to the hit Vertigo series Fables that wrapped up, I think it was 150 issues. It collects issues uh, 1 through 6, Volume 1, The Pandora Protocol, uh, by Dave Justice, Lila Sturgis, Travis Moore, Steve Ralston, Ande Parks. And basically, it follows up to... Uh, post the events of Fable, so now the Monday world, the magical world, kind of all combine. There's some people are using magic for good, and obviously some people are using magic for evil. That's where this book comes in. So now there's this group of folks who are going to go take on the evil, the evil people. Uh, think more James Bond than Fables and stuff like that. It's a really interesting concept. It has characters like Peter Piper, Bo Peep, Connor Wolf on what is basically a superhero team is the best way of putting it. Uh, going to try to stop these evil things. It's very different than uh, Bill Willingham's Fables. Uh, I'm not sure I totally dig it. It's a very interesting follow-up to the series. Uh, it's much more towards the uh, superhero aspect of it all, and you know the team together feels more... It's like Fables mixed with James Bond, mixed with superheroes, and and, you know, on paper it sounds like a really great concept. Not quite sure the, the concept really pays off in the story itself. It's a good read. It's really interesting. I'm definitely sticking through to at least see where it all goes. But as far as spin-offs for Fables, there's, I think, way better ones and ones that have kind of done very similar ideas. Um, that, like, yeah, they're just more fun, more interesting. So, um... You know, there's there's been hits and misses with the the spinoff of Fables. This one's kind of in that middle area as to uh, how much I enjoy it. Goes for sixteen ninety nine. Obviously, suggested for mature readers. As far as extras, don't really get a whole lot in here. Um, we have covers to the series, and that's really it. I mean, that's nothing nothing really else to it. So you get the whole bunch of issues, the six issues, uh, one through six, and then uh, covers for sixteen ninety nine. Uh, if you do the math, you, you save a bunch of money. So there's that. So that's good. Uh, but overall, like if you're diehard fans of Fables, check it out. But overall, if you're getting into Fables, I'd probably start with Fables. All right, we got two trade paperbacks from DC's Rebirth. Uh, let's go with, with the first volume of Superwoman. Uh, it's Who Killed Superwoman, collects issues 1 through 7 of the series, retails for $16.99, uh, written by Phil Jimenez, and then also M uh, Emanuela Lupicino and then Matt Santorelli uh, are helping out on art. Basically, it's, uh, it's Lana Lang and then uh, Lois Lane for a little while, don't quite want to spoil it, uh, have gotten powers post the... New 52 Superman dying, and he sent off this electrical charge and then powered these two up. Really crazy story. It's all explained here. But basically, most of the story is a lot of like trying to figure out these superpowers. So it has a lot to do with steel. And then, um, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, Lex Luthor's evolve. Uh, I, it's hard to, to describe it without spoiling it. Um, as far as the story, it's entertaining. It's really interesting. Um, it doesn't you know, The first couple issues really, really hooked me, and I think I really enjoyed it. As the series went on, I don't think I enjoyed it quite as much. Even though Phil Jimenez is an amazing writer and an amazing artist, um, it's one where things just kind of got a little bit um, typical. Like, there wasn't enough that really stood out to make it feel really special to me. Uh, though I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. If you've been wondering about Superwoman and wanted to check out the series, it's worth checking out. Let's go with that. Uh, but it's not necessarily one that I would recommend to someone new being like, you got to check this out. This is absolutely amazing. Well, I think that basically sums it up. Um, it's good. It's really good as far as a Superman comic. 
Um, I think Action Comics and Superman are like way better. So um, it's decent. Where this series goes from here, I think that's going to be the bigger thing for me. This is like a nice setup, but uh, what comes next should be kind of the thing that really, really excites me a lot more. Um, I think the art is pretty solid. I mean, Phil Menace does fantastic art. Uh, and the other folks he works with uh, do pretty decent. Uh, there is a slight um, a slight shift after a while, and I think that's part of also my problem with the series. Uh, it's not bad. It's just oh no, that would spoil things. Well, past here will spoil things. Uh, it's not bad. It's just I like Jimenez's art a little bit better. Like, the detail he puts in, the small details he puts in are absolutely fantastic. As far as extras, we get covers, just like most of the DC stuff. And then we get variants in the back. There we go. We got, we got some variants here. Uh, so this one, it's like it's decent. If you've been wondering about Superwoman, check it out. Uh, if you really have no interest in Superwoman, Superwoman, it's not one that you need to jump on and uh, read. Um, if you are really into Superman and action comics, this might be worth checking out, just because I think everything's going to kind of tie together uh, eventually, or everything does tie together eventually. So um, it's yeah, let's, let's go with that. All right, Volume Two of Wonder Woman. Now this is interesting. Um, because I'm about to explain it in a minute. So this is 1699, written by Greg Rucka, Nicola Scott is on art. This is Wonder Woman Year One, so Volume uh, Two takes on Year One. The issues, though, it, it covers is odd. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. The reason why, uh, why is that the uh, Wonder Woman series is basically being split into two stories. There's Year One, which is this, that kind of goes back in time and shows early Wonder Woman's adventures, and then there's a more modern thing where she's trying to find the Mysra. Um, so I personally enjoy them separated as trade paperbacks. I think it's an easier read. A month in between issues and then going back and forth is just, I read way too many comics, so it's just too much for me to take uh, to keep track of. So I'm actually enjoying the trades a little bit more than I did the single issues. This is, I think, a fantastic start. This could be the Volume 1 trade. Let's go with that. If you haven't read Volume 1, you can just pick up Volume 2 and you'd be totally fine. Like, it's a complete different storyline, so you don't need to read Volume 1 to read Volume 2. It's a really strange concept, but it's totally worth it. This is what you would expect. You know, Steve Trevor crashes on the island. She has to then go off, and I'm not going to ruin who she fights and all that, but it's her kind of getting used to the real world. And the other is, this seems to... Um, if, uh, if you're excited for Wonder Woman, the film, you're going to want to read this trade. Uh, there, I think there's going to be a lot that they kind of uh, tie into each other. We'll leave it at that. I think that probably describes it a lot. I think the two will have a lot in common. Yeah, there. Uh, the art, I think, is, is top-notch. It's really, really, really good. Um, let's show off some cool stuff that we can show. I mean, Nicola Scott is an amazing artist. And I think Greg Rucka is easily one of my favorite writers. So uh, the two of them together are top-notch. Uh, as far as extras, variant covers. Show off some of the variant covers. Um, the other thing that I think that's interesting is that they've got uh, um, Minerva... Um, uh, basically, the woman that turns into to Cheetah. I'm totally blanking on her first name. But, yeah, you know who I'm talking. Um, she has a single issue, like a one-shot, that's in the back. So things kind of, um, like it goes through Wonder Woman's story, that ends, and then there's like a one-shot that's kind of in the back of, of this, which follows the order, so that's totally fine. Uh, and it will play plays into the story that's going on, so it works out really, really well. Uh, that one shot, I think, is absolutely fantastic as well. So that's pretty cool. So you get the nice story, the build, that, you know, builds into the greater mystery. And then there's this one shot talking about, about Cheetah and her non-Cheetah form. Um, all of it works really, really well. I loved this. This is a definite buy for me. So three here. Um, definite buy. This is a buy if you're already intrigued by it. This one, I think, is for the diehard Fable fans. 
uh, they'll probably get the most out of it. If you've never read Fables, I would probably start with Fables. So, that's my opinion. Uh, as I said, thank you DC Comics for hooking me up with this. Um, again, you can make your decision on how full of crap I am uh, based off the fact that you know we got these for free. If you're interested in these, you should go to your local comic book shop first and foremost to buy them. If you don't know where your shop is, there's a link beneath this video. You can go and you can give your zip code and it'll tell you if there's a shop near you. If you have no shop near you, there is links beneath this video where you can buy each of these. Things from Another World is a comic shop and they'll have it this week, and then there's Amazon. Amazon won't be until the next Tuesday. Uh, there's a slight delay there. Both those links are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage from them, um, but by doing that, you help support our site. Now, if you're into Wonder Woman, Superwoman, uh, or uh, Fables, you should go check us out, or DC Comics, or comics in general. You should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.